But that's clickbait. Big Ramy has no chance against Ronnie Coleman. No one does. Ronnie is the king. Just bear with me guys, you will see, no other individual can push 2003 Ronnie Corman the way 2020 Big Ramy does. 2020 Big Ramy had the size and conditioning to go against Ronnie, something none other bodybuilder in history can claim especially when we talk about size. Ramy's stage weight is beyond what Ronnie Coleman used to bring on stage. Also, Big Ramy's presentation is much better than Ronnie's, so maybe, maybe. Okay, we have the front poses, the side poses, the back poses, and two more poses, the abs and thighs and the most muscular, which essentially are front poses as well. We are going to compare these two titanic versions of uh, bodybuilders, 2003 Ronnie and 2020 Big Ramy, and see what happens. But let's get the back poses out of the way first because we all know what's gonna happen here unless your name is Dorian Yates or I don't know Phil Heath. You cannot even hope to get a chance against Ronnie Coleman in the back poses. That's just facts. Go stone, go Big Ramy just doesn't have the tools from the back to go against specimens like this. So why waste time? Ramy is two poses down. Okay, but what about the front poses? Front double biceps. Well, with these poses almost like with the back poses with Ronnie. It's hard to find someone who can match Ronnie in this pose. Yeah, but what about his bubble coat? I hear from you Ronnie haters. If that's the only reason your guy, whoever he is, is beating Ronnie in this pose, you're in trouble. Ronnie did a pretty good job holding his midsection tight during posing, so no, he's not losing this pose. Big Ronnie is 3 down already, maybe this video is pointless after all. Wait, 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 don't, don't, don't go. Front, lat spread and as monstrous as Ronnie Coleman would look here, Big Ramy is just better. Ramy is wider and holds the pose properly. It is debatable but overall Big Ramy does a better job with this pose so he gets a first point in this comparison. Let's get to the side poses now. Let's give Big Ramy a boost and look at the side triceps first. Probably Ronnie's weakest pose. He had a weak triceps and a lousy execution, unlike Big Rami who does not have the best triceps either, but his execution and his lower body is 10 out of 10. Ronnie Coleman has 3 points, Big Rami has 2, and we look at the second side pose, the side chest. This one is tricky, my eyes keep go down to that lower body of Big Ramy, but we have to be real here guys. Upper body, Ronnie Coleman is beating Big Ramy. I mean both of them are massive, but Ronnie's chest is popping like crazy and with that genetic paper thin skin, it looks like there's no skin at all, it looks like you're looking at raw muscle that is about to explode. Ronnie Coleman can not lose this pose. Okay, so Big Ramy is two poses down again, but we have two more poses where he is the favorite against Ronnie, I would say. And tying 03 Ronnie at the number of poses one can be considered a huge victory, but let's see if that's the case. This channel is sponsored by Enhanced Labs. Enhanced is a team of bodybuilders, chemists and innovators who set out to create the perfect supplement line specifically designed for bodybuilders and high performance athletes. Go on getenhanced.shop, link in the description, you will find the world's best products at best prices. Get Enhanced, become superhuman. Abs and thighs, Ronnie Coleman's second weakest pose, Ronnie has bad abs and no V taper in 2003. Big Ronnie does not have the details Ronnie has through the abs but he's got a six pack and a more than decent V taper. 
Downstairs we're looking at two of the best pairs of quads in the history of the sport. So the advantage Big Romy gets upstairs is enough to win him this, uh, this pose of role. The most muscular pose. Big Romy is wider and has no problems with the stomach. Ronnie Coleman's muscles are rounder and he looks sharper. If you cannot ignore a little stomach distension, Romy is your winner. But again, if that's the only reason your guy is winning a pose, it means he's weaker overall. So I'm going with Ronnie Coleman again. He was so big and freaky that his big midsection gets a second spot when you look at a pose like this. Super Sedman, you're a Ronnie fanboy. So what? I am. I am a big Ronnie fanboy as well and a Phil Heath fanboy, a Torian J. Kai fanboy. How do you think you get to have a channel like this one? Huh? What do you think? It doesn't matter what you think! Okay, okay, don't mind the rock. It does matter so please let me know what you think in the comment section below and while you're there hit the like and subscribe buttons it helps more than you can think thank you guys and see you next time